Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm talking about golden auctions. Specifically, golden auctions tried to pay me to shill for their company. So right off the bat, let me just clear the air here. I would be very uh, skeptical of any channels or any content you consume that has advertisement within a video. Specifically, if somebody is trying to sell you like a ball hair trimmer or like boner pills, you probably need to be skeptical of that channel right from the get-go. So one thing you'll never see on Sticky Goose Comics is me trying to sell you equipment to shave and trim your man hair. Okay, that is something I can guarantee you we will never sell to you here at Sticky Use Company. Now, with that out of the way, I was reached out to by Golden Auctions. What, what the hell is Golden Auctions? Well, Golden Auctions is a eBay alternative. So, if you don't know, in the description of my channel, you can uh, there's my email. So, there's like an email that you can send for business inquiries. I have a lot of people reach out to me and try to get me to shill for their their companies and their products. Also, if you guys want to send me like hate mail or love letters or something, that's a good place to send it as well. So with that all out of the way, we set up a meeting with Golden Auctions comic book guy. Uh, let me get the name right here. Ashley Cotter Karens. So this was the gentleman that I uh, met when I did my Zoom interview. So it was like very professional, like they seem to have like a secretary setting up this, this appointment. And then I met with this, this British gentleman that started to tell me about his uh, comic book uh, history and why he sold his entire company to this Golden Auctions. Well, Golden Auctions is run and named by a man named Ken or Kenny Golden. Kenny Golden famously said, I have a nine-figure bank account. So that kind of lets you know what you're dealing with right off the bat with Mr. Golden. Mr. Golden wants you to know what he's packing. So I didn't know this. I didn't know much about Golden Auctions. I, I had looked at the website a little bit. I was going to give him their due diligence. I wanted to hear him out. So when I was in the interview, uh, it was an interview. I mean, let's let's call it what it is. When I was talking to, to Ashley, um, we then we got in with another guy who was like their marketing guy. There, there's always like a 20 something year old person in like a white sterile room. The camera is just like facing him in like an upward, upward way. And the reason I say this stereotype is like I've been in interviews with multiple people like that for multiple potential sponsorships. And there's always that guy. And that guy is the guy that's the, the Instagram guy, the Facebook guy, the TikTok guy, the boots on the ground guy that's sliding into your DMs uh, and into your girl's DMs on that Snapchat. I'm talking to both of these guys and I'm just trying to get a feel for, for who they are. So I consider myself somebody who's very good at reading people and kind of getting a feel of whether I trust people. I'm, I'm very skeptical in that way. And I usually have a pretty good gauge. Well, I mean, these guys seem nice enough, but I was being authentic. I'm being true sticky goose where I'm cutting the BS. I, I'm, I'm telling these guys, if this is not good for the comic book community, if this is something that is not a positive thing, I have no intention of promoting this. And I brought up eBay and I brought up whatnot. And I brought up the importance of competition in this community and specifically places to buy high end or even, you know, lower end comic books that don't have these egregious, um, these egregious fees for the buyer and the seller. So I'm going on golden auctions and I'm seeing like these ridiculously low auctions and these ridiculously low like sale selling prices and I'm like what's going on here how how is this happening why are these going for so far below fair market value well it's all good and gravy when I'm talking to Ashley and the the dude in the sterile room and I'm like okay I'm I'm like this I'm not hearing the whole story well the whole story is instead of the 20% that is the eBay the eBay seller is incurring when they're they're trying to sell their books it's going to the buyer so 
if you've never sold on eBay, it's not it's not all good and gravy. Like you you take a big hit after you've sold the item from all the fees that eBay occur, incurs, which I understand. I mean, they're trying to run a, a business and they've got to get their cut somehow. Well, this Golden Auctions is an attempting is attempting to be an eBay competitor. It's charging more on the back end, not on the seller, it's on the buyer. So they're putting all of this this financial burden on the buyer. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't know about that. So when he's telling me, when let me just clarify, when Ashley was telling me about you know how you know how well people can do selling on there. They also have they're they're having a promotion right now where you can put something on the marketplace for like free and sell it that way. I was like, uh, okay, I mean, this seems like really good for sellers, but how is it for buyers? How is it for the collectors? And all of this stuff stuff starts coming to light, and I'm like, this is this is worse than eBay. So, Golden Auctions is a big kind of sports memorabilia company and then they're kind of transitioning into comics and the red flags that that tell me is that 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 tells me is they saw the comic book market explode and they were like holy crap we got to get in this now we got to we got to get in this and try to sell to these people when they're trying to buy these big and high end comic books and i was like that right off the bat is like kind of sketchy because it's like these people aren't actual members of the community they're trying to get into it now while it's hot and i said all of this in the interview and i was like i'm not a big fan of people that just got into this to try to make the quick buck and then get the hell out once they they made their money i'm not supporting that another reason i wanted to make this video is i'm talking about promotion of this company in youtube and by youtube YouTubers uh, in our community, one of which I have a lot of respect for, um, and then some of the others that promoted I have no respect for at all. But uh, like I said, you have to be careful when somebody's trying to sell you something, and and I think most people are. Nobody wants to be sold anything, and I kind of told I told them this in the interview. I said, guys, I mean. Videos like this are not, they don't do well in my channel because so many of you guys that watch my videos are are awoken. You're not, you, you see through the BS. Um, and these videos, they don't do well. People see them that they're an advertisement. People see that they, these are not services these people are actually using. They're just using it because they're making making a quick buck. One of the other issues that I encounter or one of the other issues I wanted to kind of clear up was, you know, these people that are selling this, the, these are high end items. Do they know how to package books? Do they understand how to ship things correctly? Well, I'm looking at other comments on other videos. People receive like damaged books, books that were messed up. Apparently there's terrible customer service um, as far as like getting in touch with Golden specifically to get refunds or send items back this is concerning and ebay is already bad enough when you're buying something on there i mean it's like the wild wild west you don't know where it's coming from who you're buying from this could be a non-comic book person having no idea how to ship these things you don't know what's happening and i was hopeful that this company you know had like standards of the the, the sellers apparently that's not the case according to some of these these comments i'm reading so all in all, let's wrap it up. Let's put a nice bow on it. Things to take away from this. It, Golden Auctions may be a good place to get a decent deal. If you can get it so far below fair market value that the 20% that's added on to the buyer at the very end does not exceed the fair market value of the book, and, and that's a big if, um, as well as the shipping costs. Apparently the shipping is like $20 and tax. Another big takeaway is they apparently have a vault. So some of these items, I mean, I think there was like a Hulk 181, like 9.8 on there or something. I know there was an Amazing Fantasy 15. They have this thing called a vault, or they call it the vault, where you can buy the item and then keep the item with golden auctions, um, and they will professionally uh, keep it safe for you. 
Um, I don't know what, but you guys, like, I, I want that freaking book. Like, I don't want somebody that I just paid to get the book to hold my book for me. No, I want my stuff. So that, it's like really weird and fishy and sketchy. So I didn't like that. But all in all, I, I, I'm, I'm not super impressed with this. Um, I think it, you know, it's good to have competition for eBay and whatnot. I, I'm all for that. It's just, man, I would be real, real, real careful with this golden auctions thing. Hopefully you guys have had good experiences with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.